Hey, so I'm back and I'm back to do um, the MJoy Epilator, I guess the second review. Um, I got this back in September, I think around September 4th. Um, my previous video, you can watch that, I'll have the link below. Um, basically it was my first try, the unboxing and all of that, so I guess this is what I think about this product, but it's November, it's almost Thanksgiving, so it's like, I think it's November 20th, so I've had it almost three months about, um, and I think that that's long enough to know, so far anyway, like, if I like it or don't like it or whatever, so, um, Basically, the things that I like about it, um, you can plug it in, obviously, so when the battery starts dying, you can plug it in, um, and you can just keep epilating or whatever. Uh, I also like, I mean, it's easy to clean. You can take the little pieces off. I didn't really know this in the first video. You can take these off. Um, the only thing is, when I was cleaning it one time, probably like a few days after I got it, I was cleaning with this, but I didn't know. I had this thing running and I was trying to brush it off at the same time. And it like gripped the, it gripped the brush and totally made all these little blades like out of order so that when I would turn it on, some of the blades wouldn't work anymore. So I actually contacted the company and they said it was no problem. I could return it and get a new one, blah, blah, blah. But then I, I was messing around with it and I fixed it, so it's fine. But, uh, so that was good. The company was, was nice about it. Um, what else? The other things that I like about it. This thing, okay, you put this on. I haven't really figured out. I guess if you have really long hair, maybe like man leg hair or something. I guess this like pushes the hairs up so that you could get them better or something, but I don't know. I haven't really figured out what that's for. There it goes flying. Um, let's see. I guess on to the real point of the epilator. And as you guys know, or you might not know, basically epilators will, they have a bunch of tweezers um, and they move really fast and they just pulls your hairs out instead of having to shave or wax or whatever. And, you know, the initial idea to me was pretty freaking cool. I really liked the idea. Um, I didn't, I mean, I saw a lot of reviews where, you know, oh, stop the dark underarms and, you know, stuff like that, which I never really had dark underarms, you know, just from shaving or whatever. Like, obviously you're gonna have some hair stubbles or whatever. But I didn't really have dark underarms. So when I was using this, I tried it on my armpits, I tried it on my legs, and I also tried it on my bikini line. Now, with my legs, the first thing I noticed was that I got ingrown hairs. Um, I never get ingrown hairs on my legs, ever. And I don't know what's going on. I feel like this thing is pulling the hairs out and sometimes when, I mean, it's pulling the hairs out when they're thick and long enough, but the little thin hairs, like really small baby hairs that, you know, waxing would get, this thing, I feel like, pulls it but doesn't pull it out, so the hair kind of curls up on itself, and I think that makes me feel like I get ingrown hairs, um, so I don't like that about it. Um, I tried to do like the lower part of my calves would be fine but when you got closer like up towards the knee or whatever that's where I got them the ingrown hair so I kind of stopped using it on my legs and shaving works very well still um, and then for my bikini line at first it really hurt um, I didn't like go deep down in there or anything I just did like literally where your bikini would go like up at the top where you know if you're looking at somebody that's what you would look at um i did that part and everything seemed to work fine um i don't really have any complaints 
to that area so much. Um, and then my armpits, that is kind of weird because I, I never get ingrown hairs in my armpits and I don't know why I'm breathing so hard. It's like I can't, ugh. Anyway, I never get ingrown hairs on my armpits. Um, but with the epilator, I feel like it pulled them out and then it looked all nice. But then when they were growing back in, it was like darker under there than it was before when I was just shaving. So I don't know what's going on, but I guess that little loofah thing that it comes with, I should get that. Anyway, check out my the before video, um, my unboxing and everything. And you can see it comes with like a little sponge kind of a thing where you're supposed to like, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to keep you from getting ingrown hairs. I don't know. But I would use that and it was kind of like hurt, you know? And so you have these little hairs and then I would get little ingrown hairs um, and I have to, you know, get them out with like a tweezer or something, which who wants to do that? So I never had ingrowns before, but now I feel like this also does it. Like, I don't know what it is. It pulls some out and it doesn't pull others out and like just like the leg hairs I feel like it makes it curl up kind of like I guess to me it kind of feels like you know when you wrap a present and you have the scissors and you open the scissors and you take the ribbon and you go zoop, and it curls up on itself that's how I feel like um, the epilator what the epilator does to my hairs so overall I liked the initial idea and I liked what it did initially to my legs because they were really freaking smooth and initially my armpits looked really nice um, but then when it grew back in which I don't even think it says it would last about five to six weeks I don't think it lasted five to six weeks like I've I've epilated a ton of times and I know that when your hairs are growing back they grow back um, I guess at different times so whatever hairs you grabbed out those are going to be gone for six weeks the next set of hairs are going to come in you're going to do that so it's kind of like in order to keep it all bald I don't know if that's the word to keep it all gone or whatever um, you have to do it a few times to get like all the hair so that they're kind of in the same pattern so that it's all gone at the same time but to me I'm I'm epilating not as much as I would shave, obviously, but I can definitely, I definitely can tell you, you're not going to be doing this only every five to six weeks. Like, your hairs are going to keep growing back um, in waves. So, that's another downfall. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really, I don't want to say I don't recommend the product because everybody you know, works, their hair and their body works differently. But for me, even though I don't get ingrown hairs at all, I feel like getting the ingrown hairs is worse than just having to shave because it's just so annoying. Um, and my armpits, like, it's like part of it would hurt because the ingrown hair would hurt. So I shaved the other day and maybe I'll use this every once in a while or something because it's fun and it does work, you know, the first time if I'm like going somewhere and I can do that and I don't have to worry about it for, you know, if I go on vacation or something. But when it starts growing back, that's where I guess the problem is. It works initially, but then afterwards it's just weird. So I would say maybe if you aren't prone to ingrown hairs, you could try it. Um, even if you're prone to ingrown hairs, I don't know, um, maybe you should try it too, but I wouldn't be like, oh, go buy this, go buy this, go buy this. So, whoa, I'm dropping every god dang thing. Anyway, that's my review. Um, it's kind of mixed review, but the ingrown hairs, not so good. So... If you guys have any questions or anything like that, go ahead, comment below, um, rate, subscribe. I have a whole bunch of other videos. I have vlogs and 
all types of weird things that I'm doing. So, um, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. All right, bye.